and it turns to People do call me monster, they call me cheaters, and which made me add no self-esteem. I was depressed after my own life. Initially, I didn't know that was it. You know, there's something Yoruba called Alefo. When she was a baby, it started coming like that because she was very, very white. She wasn't fair, she was a white skirt. You know, when she clocked to one, after she clocked to one, the thing started turning to black spots after it has busted and it turns to black spots, you know. Being a white girl and with uh, African mentality, especially Yoruba tradition, I had to use a go being a white girl, having a la on her body. So I used a go for her. And there are lot different types of advice. Some people say, eh, eh, she's, eh, she's a bindo. I stopped giving her salt. I should stop giving her this. That's how it started. And I took her, I remember taking her to last suits, of which I was told there was nothing wrong with her skin, but that is her skin condition. And she should be using, um, I should make sure I apply sunscreen for her. That's SPF that. She should use it to protect herself from the sun. That she's um, the reason for the those black uh, that that spot is the effect of the sun on her skin. And even after then, I wasn't so convinced. I took her. My mom is not from. She's not a Nigerian, so I took her to Lome. And those people said I should stop applying whatsoever that I might be applying. There's all this um pombate, all this cream I would use for children that are having um ela. And so they said I should stop applying all those things. I shouldn't damage her skin. That that is a skin condition. I should just leave it. Uh, as far as it's not affecting her, they asked me, is, he, is she feeling any discomfort with the skin? I said no. So while growing up, though, when I was small, I didn't really feel anything. But get, um, getting to that eight years, nine years, ten years, um, the way people react to me around my surroundings. It affected me. The things people say around her and the way they bully her because of her skin. And which made me add no self esteem. So during that time, they are usually abuse me. They will come at this girl is a monster. She's such a cheater that I look at her body so irritating. It used to make me sad and I used to cry. I mean, I was depressed after my own life. When I was in jail, though everybody later got used to me. We were friends, nobody was scared of me again. But you know, as I'm going out of classes, new newcomers are also coming. The, the rest, the, all of them were scared of me. But my classmates got familiar with me and they got used to me. A situation happened um, last year. I was depressed because when I went out, I went to buy something. Then some children in my area, they were like, ah, we're running away from me, or that. I'm um, if I go close to this girl, she, I will not have the same thing. So when I got home, I was sad. I was not crying. That I even vented out the anger of my family, so even my mom. Of which I have to also invite someone that is having the same skin condition to help me enlighten her. And ever since that time, she has been good to go. She doesn't feel bad about it. So it was the same lady who encouraged me. She taught me about everything that I know now. And she's the one, the main reason why I'm able to stand out today. In fact, her self-esteem now is now so high that I even, at times, when I watch her, I'll say, wow, is this my daughter? She's even giving me so much confidence. She, she, I, I would say she, she boosted my confidence, and I love that. I was so happy about it. Though it was really challenging, you know, why going out with her? People will see her. Some people will appreciate her. Some people say, wow, I wish I have this your skin. I love your skin. Whereas you see some people that will say, ha, Madame Muni, I have spiritual something that I can give you. Oh, dear, this is spiritual. This is that and that. Though I'm not, I, I didn't even, I turned deaf uh, to most of those things because in as much as medically, they are, it has been proven that there was no deficiency. That is her skin and that is the way it would be. So I just face reality and just move on. I want to advise you that you don't need to feel bad about yourself because we've not created ourselves. You are also a human being like everyone. Now, even if they call you an animal, you are not an animal. You are a human being and you just have to accept yourself that way. My advice to people that find their children or even themselves in this 
type of condition or any other condition. It's just for them to keep going and trust in God. I believe yeah, the Bible says that God made us in, our, in his own image. So everything he has done is good according to what we are taught and according to what the Bible says. So I don't think God has done something or he has created someone bad. So whichever way he has created us, let's just embrace it and you know just keep going and don't don't let any negativity weigh you down. So that's just my advice for people. If I did love can we now you be soldier? General no send me now I'm alone. Now where you no send me, you just the post. You just the bubble me, you just the go. You know they answer me, eh oh, eh oh, eh oh, kill all the oh, eh oh, eh oh, I oh.